morning, everybody. A day in the life of a front-end engineer. I don't know if it'll be that title specifically. I might like just put remote software engineer. Anyways, I haven't made this video in three years. The last time I did this was July 18th, 2018. And one of the funny things is, is that people were commenting saying that does no one like shower in the morning anymore? I used to like shower at night and then not have to shower in the morning. However, I still do shower at night, but I feel like I need to still shower in the morning to wake up. I think it's because I'm not rushing because all I have to do is walk from my bedroom to my desk setup. It just basically wakes me up. I actually stayed up really late last night. Shocker, software engineers, a night out, watching Kanye West release party for the Donda album. I'm actually really excited about that album. Hopefully he just releases it in a timely manner. It was supposed to release today at midnight. Anyways, usually in the morning, the first thing that I do outside of showering and putting on some deodorant, lotion for my ashy knees, I go to my desk, I check my emails, I check my Skype messages, um, I see if I have any training that's overdue. And then after that, I might reach out to like our senior dev, talk about some things, or I'll just like dive right into the code just to figure out where on earth I left off at last night. It's Friday, so I'm gonna reward myself with a bagel from a local bagel shop. They have this berry, is that the right? No, cinnamon cranberry bagel. It, it smacks, it really smacks. Apparently I have to order 36 bagels in order to order online. So looks like I'm gonna have to drive up there, which is okay, it's a really beautiful day. This looks incredible. I just picked up some collagen and biotin vitamins. Honestly, I'm just trying to stay healthy. I did a little bit of coding. Um, have really no meetings on Fridays. We have this model where we don't try to have any meetings on Friday. Basically, no meetings Fridays. Since this video is centered around my day in the life and showing you what my day consists of, I'd be lying to you if I told you that I spent most of my time working on creative tasks, you know, software development, content creation, and not spending so much time going through my email list, which is why I'm happy to be working with Superhuman. The first thing I noticed about Superhuman is how clean and minimal the user experience is and how it really is dedicated to making my email life easier. Superhuman comes with advanced features that make you feel on top of your email game, such as incredibly fast shortcuts that I'll talk about in just a moment, high performance workflow. One of the first things I noticed is that I got a lot of tips from Raul, who is the Superhuman CEO. This is really helpful, so you don't have to worry about finding shortcuts on your own. So let's talk about why I recommend using Superhuman compared to other emails that I've used in the past, like Gmail and Yahoo, are the shortcuts and how you do not need to use your mouse to interact with your emails. Press J to go down and K to go up the list. Once you've selected the email you like to apply a shortcut to, you simply press Command K to open the superhuman command prompt or select a key that corresponds with the shortcut you'd like to apply to the selected email. Here are a few of my favorite shortcuts that I use to make my email list a lot more focused and less cluttered. Remind me is probably the most clutch shortcut simply because my email list is continuing to grow, especially as my channel grows, a spam, and then of course sponsored opportunities. And I've gotten worse at hitting people back in a timely manner. To add a reminder to an email, you simply press H or you can search remind me in the superhuman command. After that, you'll be given a prompt to select a time you like to be reminded. You can archive an email by pressing E or simply searching for it through the superhuman command 
Archive will not permanently delete the emails, so you can revisit those archived emails. Last but not least, is the split shortcut, which I like to use to split a group of emails from either a person or a specific company. And then Superhuman will create a new tab at the top of the application for that list of emails that I search for in order to split. For example, you can search for a person or subject. Once the list is filtered based on that search, you can split the email inbox and you'll see a newly created tab for that split inbox at the top of the app. This feature is super clutch. Thank you to Superhuman for sponsoring this video and making my email life so much better. I'm about to grab some lunch. I've got some chicken thighs left over from dinner that we ate like two days ago and a little bit of yellow rice and Caesar salad. That sounds really good. I hope the B-roll looks good. And then after that, I'm gonna meet with my manager to talk through some things. And then after that, I'm gonna go grab me an iced coffee because I am tired. You know, like, the middle of the afternoon time, like a few hours before work ends and you just start like, yeah, that's how I'm feeling. So I think iced coffee will be dope. Also, I get a chance to go to one of my favorite cafes right across the street. The drink I actually get is a iced caramel macchiato. I just started getting those drinks and I wish I would have started drinking iced coffee a long time ago. The rest of the day, I need to finish up this training along with starting a new story that's gonna take, it's gonna take some time. It's definitely a larger story and I'm gonna have to flex some skill sets that I haven't flexed in a while. On top of that, in a programming language, which is React, that I don't have a ton of experience with. But I'm actually excited to take on this story before I get to doing some programming. I'm actually gonna go on Spotify and figure out what playlists I wanna to listen to before I start programming. And also what I'm going to do is I'm gonna utilize my Pomodoro timer that I haven't utilized in a long time. I use the 45 minute one. I think 45 minute intervals are some of the best ways to stay productive where you're not overwhelming yourself with too much time focused on one task. You gotta give yourself a mental break, especially when it comes to programming. So that concludes this video. I wanted you all to also know that due to the confidential nature of my job and just programming in general, what you see me programming throughout the video was my simple Pomodoro timer side project that I have no issue with sharing with you all. I'm actually still working on some new features. The next feature would be a drop down that allows you to select an interval for your Pomodoro study session or focus session. Yeah, I can't disclose what I'm actually working on. I can tell you all that I am programming in React, which has been really fun. I talked about that in earlier videos and it's funny because I've done Angular, Vue.js and now I'm finally doing React and I can tell you based on my experience programming with all three, React is definitely the best. So that concludes this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're still here. Comment down below a day in a life if you enjoyed this video. 
I like making this vlog style of content and you all have been pretty receptive to it. So I really enjoy making these videos. They're not mundane. They're really off the top of the dome opposed to just writing the script where I feel like a robot. Anyways, as always, have a blessed rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I will see you all soon. Peace.